All right, Mark Marinelli, head coach here at Liberty High School, Olentangy. I do believe it's Olentangy. Olentangy, Liberty. Powell, Powell, Ohio? Powell, Ohio, yes. Okay. Coach Marinelli, you're the longtime coach at DeSales, okay? Uh, I don't even know how many top ten finishes, but multiple runner-up finishes in Division Two. Mm -hmm. okay? Uh, you're a two-time All-American for the Buckeyes, a state champ for DeSales. Talk about how hard it was to leave Columbus to sales and how much you love the place. Well, it was pretty emotional because I was been there since 1976. So was, I've been involved in the sales wrestling program for 30 years, but I kind of felt I was stagnating a little bit and not uh, not being challenged enough. So, you know, I decided to make a switch to come to Old Tangy Liberty okay, to, if to you be can challenged even, a little bit. If you can even recall, how many top ten finishes is the head coach? You probably don't even know maybe. something like that. Ten? Ten, yeah. I think it's actually more, but okay. yeah, I'm pretty sure. More. How many runner-ups, actually? You would Two runner-ups. Two yeah. runner-ups. Okay, and you runner-up to Graham once, I think, and Walsh once. Walsh once and Graham once, I okay. think. Okay. So, I mean, obviously, a lot, you know, top 25 teams mm -hmm. every year that you guys were in line to win it. So, uh, multiple state champs. Leaving that that and coming here, talk about the opportunity you were given here at Liberty. Well, it's just, uh, you know, they've given me a, a really nice room and a lot of backing. So the opportunity to uh, to make the program grow was there, and that was the, that was the main thing. Plus, we have a really high quality of a, of a student here. So you know, we have a good student athlete here who's going to be committed to getting better both on the wrestling mat and in the classroom. Okay, Mark. Uh, talking to Bob Stoll earlier, he talked about how he was with Reedy for many a number of years, and his decision to leave was a family decision. Would you say that? along with the support the community and the school has given you, would you say it was a big family decision as well? Yeah, yeah, it, it was. Yeah, it, uh, i got three children now, and, um, you know, financially, I want my uh, wife to be able to stay home with our kids, so finance did have a, a good chunk to do with leaving. Okay, so you left, actually, a, a top ten team. Mm -hmm. That's okay. probably my best. I left with the best team coming back. I had the best team I was going to have coming back since I've been there. Okay. You were two-time All-American. You took fourth in the country and fourth in the country, correct? Mm-hmm. Okay, for the Buckeyes. Would you say that in all those years at DeSales, you tried to push uh, DeSales guys to Columbus to, to keep them home, to the Buckeyes? Mm, I tried to push them to where they had the best opportunity. If that was Ohio State, that was Ohio State. If I thought they would do better going to a, um, a like a Division three school, like I had a, I've had numerous numerous wrestlers go to John Carroll and be really happy with it so because it fit them better so wherever it actually fit them better that's where I w would want them to go but I never really pushed him anywhere all right you and I are just talking do you do you mix it up at all anymore uh, occasionally I'll start off with the lightweights and work my way up and um, you know I my neck hurts me from time to time so I don't want to go too heavy and if it does I usually back down Okay, so I drill quite a bit still, and uh, I don't go as much live. I mean, you look like you're in the same. You look like you were in college still. Yeah, I stay in pretty good shape. Okay, uh, you and I were talking earlier. Also, you actually, your senior year of high school, you beat a two-time defending state champ. Mm-hmm. Okay, well, actually, with the Mills series here, I've got Gene Mills doing a clinic here today, and uh, I, I was fortunate enough to to pin him with the with the Mills hat. Oh, so actually, you used some stuff with what what Mills actually worked with, huh? Yeah. Absolutely. It was a, a Chanel guy, right? Mm -hmm. Dan Donovan. Dan Donovan. He was really tough. I'm fortunate I pinned him because I don't know if I could have beat him on points or not. <laughs> yeah. And uh, in college, you when you were fourth and fourth, would you say you used a lot of like Mills stuff on top? Your yeah, I, I used a combination of Mills, but I, I ran the legs a lot. Okay. All right. What's next for the Liberty program? I mean, obviously, everybody knows you're one of the top coaches in, in Central Ohio and Ohio. What are the expectations here for you? Well, I'm trying to, I'm building the numbers up. We had 40 on the team last year, as opposed to 17 the year before. And you doubled was, your numbers and, and doubled the numbers and that's retained. Good. And retained. We only lost one one wrestler out of 40. But I don't have a big senior class, so I've, I'm trying to keep my freshmen. I had 20 some freshmen. I'm trying to keep those numbers together. So in a couple of years, I'll have a, a class of seniors of 10, 10 solid seniors. Okay. And just well, keep doing that. And you, I, I see there's a youth banner out there. You put all the youth kids on the banner? Yeah, we have about uh, close to 100 youth kids in our, uh, that signed up this year. So I'm, I'm also trying to get that bolstered up so that it can feed into my middle school and then from there on. 
So, would you say, would you compare this, uh, what is this, about two, three times the size of uh, this sales? Actually, there's about 1,400 students. So, so like, twice? Yeah. Well, oh. Sales had about 1,000. So, only 900, 400 bigger? 400 bigger. But you're in an area that's, that's growing by leaps and bounds? Yeah, they just opened a new school uh, on Tangy Orange, and I think they're projected to open another one here in a, in a few years. Okay, and do you live in this area? Or do no, you I live, live in Columbus still. You live in Columbus? Mm -hmm. So, you commute? Commute. It's about 13, 14 miles, that's it. Okay, Mark. Is there anything else you want the people to know in uh, in Ohio about what you're doing here, man? No, I just we've got so many opportunities here and so many great coaches, and uh, I just want more people to support Ohio State wrestling than they already than they already do, and Ohio wrestling in general. Uh, I know you help out with Kent, and you know people who live close to Kent go to more home meets in Cleveland State and OU uh, because we need more support at that level, and also. I think it's pretty important that we have more dual meets, and a lot of our uh, coaches really don't want to do as many dual meets. It's more that, of a tournament. We've turned into a, turn, a long day. Yeah, it's boring. Yeah, it's, it's a, hard. It's, it's boring. It's, it's hard on the parents. So a dual meet's and more the, exciting. And the fan base. And the fan base, right. So if we can get back more to a dual meet format, schedule more dual meets, and still have the tournaments, but you know, divvy it up a little bit, I think wrestling could be a lot more exciting. Okay, and that's what you guys are pushing for here at Well, right now, well, I, I make sure I got my middle school, my freshman, and my JV, and my varsity all wrestle the same night. So if That's that means, huge. Yeah, yeah. Because so you're getting those youth parents to stay, yeah. middle school parents, and then they're seeing what the high school's mm -hmm. doing as well. Yeah, and our athletic director's real happy about it. It's real smart. Yeah. It's a great idea. But it, it, it takes a lot of work, uh, Zeb, get, you know, coordinating things. But I always make sure I get. My, I got two middle schools, so one time I'll have a middle school here, and then the next time I'll have the next middle school come and wrestle. And I try to match it up with whoever I'm wrestling with. And so if I was wrestling DeSales, I would get DeSales freshman and DeSales middle school. Together. Makes sense. Yeah. Makes sense. All right, Coach. Well, we're going to go out and catch the rest of the clinic because I want to get old Mean Gene because yeah. he's a character and he's got great <laughs> technique. And obviously, you, you used it, and that's why you got him here. Uh -huh. Thanks, Coach. Thanks, Seth.